Hey, second violins, it's me again. Sorry, I'm not better looking. At 11, I want to go over some of the weird fingerings due to that key signature of three flats. So, um, low ones everywhere, low twos everywhere, low three. What? Low three? Oh, man. So, here's how low three works. I got to, here we go. I'm going to get close. There's open E. Low one is F. Low two is G. Okay, three usually goes on the tape for A, but this time it's A flat, so we're gonna move three back where it's touching low two. And then uh, four would be low, but it's not gonna feel quite as low because it's stretched apart from low three. So that's how that works, low one, low two, third finger touches it, and I'm gonna go back to measure, or rehearsal number 11 and play this for you. Low one. I play opens there, I know it says four. Now we can't play open E, we have to play a low four here. Then a regular four which it should sound like your opening. I'll go back to that low four where the piano is. Here's that first low three that I just talked about. And then one, four, three. And that third finger is normal. So how's that for weird? Low three, regular three. And that takes us up to 12. Low one. Okay, here's another weird spot. Low one. There's a D flat accidental. That's a low three on the A string. So in that measure, that's one, two, three, four, five measures before 13, three, two, and one all touch each other. Because it's a D flat, a C, and a B natural. So they're all smashed together. And then four measures before 13, you've got low one, low four, three, two, low four for A flat, then open A, where that natural sign is, and then B flat. Let me play it for you now all in context. I started at 11, by the way. Low four, regular four, low three, Regular three. Low one, low three, regular. So your fingers are doing all sorts of weird things. Practice that, that's a tough spot.